The coalition was um, an idea that came together around 2008 when the Chesapeake Bay Funders Network led by Verna Harrison saw the potential of bringing a number of advocates together uh, within the Chesapeake Bay watershed to work together on both federal policy and on state level goals. I knew that we had our work cut out for us. Uh, fortunately, the coalition brought together with the leadership of Tony Caligiri, Doug Siglin, and Chris Miller, a steering committee for the coalition, which was really able to go out and meet with organizations to talk about the potential of working together. And we launched the Choose Clean Water Coalition in May of 2009 with 60 members on Capitol Hill. The Choose Clean Water Coalition is an organization made up of now more than 300 nonprofit organizations across the entire Chesapeake Bay watershed. I think there's nothing better than walking into a room full of like-minded people who, while they're coming from maybe different aspects of our work, we're all working towards the same thing. And meeting people not just on what they're working on, but like also on a personal level. I think there's something to be said about the personal relationships that you make and how much better that is for our work and how successful we are. And but that wasn't something that existed prior to the coalition. Um, there were very much people working in silos, but no one was bringing us all together. And so we we're not only are being brought together to coordinate on policy and language and communications and advocacy, but also just like this community and this network. Well, you know, I look at the Choose Clean Water Coalition as, um, you know, the power of 10. Uh, when you get 100 groups together, it's not the voice of 100 groups. It becomes the voice of thousands. And that power is, um, really hard to put into words and I think that Choose Clean Water Coalition has organized it and used voices from all the states in the watershed um, and all different kinds of groups and by bringing those voices together you, there's a crescendo that gets created that's pretty pretty priceless. We need to be open as, as organizations with hearing other perspectives and hearing other ways of doing things. And I, again, to go back to your original point about the value of a coalition, I think it's it's sort of that, that old adage that if everybody thought the same, nothing would ever get done because nobody would ever be able to see anything any differently. Being able to have people that have different experiences and have different ways of doing things, I think is the only way that you can really have success in, in doing something. We didn't know that all of this was gonna work. I mean, there, there was still that idea hanging out there that we weren't gonna be successful, that people wouldn't work together, and so, the, the launch of the coalition, that first conference, and everything that's happened since has proved those people wrong.